Hi guys, I just want to tell you a little quick story about how the best preparation and hopes and dreams doesn't always work out in the world of photography or stock photography. I was in the south of the Netherlands uh, yesterday in the countryside and uh, I was hanging out at a churchyard as you often do, uh, well as I often do, no just joking. Um, in this churchyard, I noticed that there was a group of, or a big bunch of daffodils in full bloom growing. Uh, so I spent an hour or so just lying on my belly photographing and videoing these daffodils uh, with the beautiful church in nice sunlight behind it. So I had an idea for today, which is Sunday, um, that, okay, these daffodils are blooming in the churchyard. They must also be blooming in the uh, flower area of the Netherlands near Lissa. So I looked up on the internet if uh, daffodils actually do come out in commercial quantities in February. And I saw a report saying that daffodils were in bloom in February 6, 2020. And I thought, that's it. I'm off tomorrow. I'm going to get up early before sunrise. I'm going to be in the flower fields photographing these daffodils. The strategy being, okay, the daffodils are out really early. I can get all these photos online and the stock agencies, uh, and it'll be a nice fresh batch of photos and videos to upload uh, for the upcoming uh, April, March, April flower season. So I got up and I drove all the way to Lissa, and by the time uh, the mist had risen from the fields, uh, it, it was nice mist, but it wasn't really photogenic mist because the fields, uh, they don't have very good landscapes or vistas to highlight you know, structures like church towers and stuff in the mist. So I missed the mist shots. Uh, and when I saw the open fields, there was not a daffodil to be spotted for hundreds of kilometers. So it was a wasted journey. Uh, but I'm happy that I took the risk to get up so early and just get out and be active and do something, uh, even though it didn't pay off. So I came back to The Hague and I just thought, well, it's a nice morning. I'm not going to waste this opportunity. I'm going to get out on the beach and have a walk. And uh, as the clouds uh, started forming on the coast of the Netherlands, I noticed that uh, there was this strip of blue sky between the beach and the grey clouds uh, above it and it made for some really beautiful seascape photos. So unexpectedly I came to my beach where I just go for a walk and I spent the next hour just photographing and videoing uh, different structures on the beach uh, and different details of the beach with this beautiful sky and sea background um, with the sky blue and grey and the beach kind of white and golden and sometimes rocks and uh, beach uh, details uh, in between just to give it some uh, point of focus and I also noticed some fantastic um, artistic natural art on the sand as the the tide recedes from the beach and goes back out to the sea it leaves these little root like structures that look like little mini trees in the sand and i got some amazing photos probably i think they're amazing i'm not sure if other people think they're amazing but uh, these uh, kind of sand sculptures that look like root structures or even little trees in winter without leaves. And it really struck me how beautiful this natural phenomenon was of just the tide and water going out and leaving these little uh, patterns in the sand. 
And then I also came across uh, this dead seagull. And in stock photography, uh, you can't be too choosy about your subjects. So I spent another 20 minutes lying on my belly, taking video and photos of this seagull with the water moving behind it for the videos. People looking at me strangely. I mean, why is this guy on his belly two feet away from this seagull? Uh, but as a stock photographer, I like to document life and that life isn't always happy times. It also shows tragedy. It also shows uh, mother nature and uh, nature is merciless sometimes. So at this trip to the beach has been uh, a real uh, gem this morning. I've got beautiful seascapes. I've got some good stock photography uh, subjects. And I think I've got some nice fine art pictures. And it's all captured on this phone here, the uh, iPhone SE. Because I left my uh, camera at home after I finished with the flower filled escapade. Um, so there's no 70 to 200 lens, there's no 17 to 50 2.8, it's just all with the camera. And with photography and stock photography in particular, uh, failure is the only option <laughs> in many cases. So you have to just get out there and do stuff and half the time you'll probably fail. But that's that 80-20 rule that 20% of photos that you take that earn you the most money and also give you the most satisfaction. So having said that, if you go out you know, every day for a week and you just don't get what you want, uh, you come back disheartened and frustrated, don't give up. It's just that half a morning on the seventh day that could make all the difference to you and uh, either earn you some money or just give you a lift and make you happy to be alive. Anyway guys, see you next week for a monthly earnings income for February and uh, I hope you're all doing well and I'll uh, talk to you next week. Bye!